What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you some of the most popular macros for Path of Exile. These macros are completely legal and they are highly useful. I hope you guys will find them as useful as I have. Thank you for watching. What's up guys, Lifting Nerd Bro here. Today I'm going to show you how to easily install and use an anti-desync, logout, item level and monsters remaining macro. These macros are legal to use and GGG will not ban or suspend your account for using these. So don't worry about that. As a matter of fact, I've used these macros for the past year or so. This macro or this compilation of macros will prevent and reduce the amount of desync you experience. It will allow you to instantly log out in dangerous situations. It will tell you the item level of an item and it can show you how many monsters that remain in the zone including maps. All this with a single fast click or push to a designated button on your keyboard or mouse. And as I said, this macro is very easy to install and I will show you this in a moment. But let me just quickly show you how this macro works in game. Okay, so we're now in the game on the Twilight Strand where all the good action is going on. And when the macro is installed, this is what happens when I now push my F2 button. The macro will type slash remaining and tell me how many monsters that are left in this zone. This can be very useful if running costly maps and you want to make sure that you have killed all the mobs so that you won't miss out on any potential loot drops. The next macro goes like this. When I press my F3 button, my macro will type slash OOS, which basically stands for out of sync. This command will force the game client back into sync if it isn't already. And this macro has literally saved me hundreds of times. When you get used to it, you'll find yourself pressing F3 every now and then without even realizing it. I can't tell you how much I love this specific macro. It makes your game experience so much better in my opinion. You should definitely at least use this macro. So for the next macro, when I hover my mouse cursor over an item and press F4, the macro will pick up the item quickly type slash item level and put it down again and tell me the item level of a specific item. Pretty handy. The last macro allows me to log out quickly in dangerous situations and may potentially save your life or experience. It basically works by you pressing the mouse button 4 and poof, we're now logged out of the game. Pretty sweet. And that is basically how this compilation of macros work. And now let me show you how to install it. And as I said, this is very easy, don't worry. You're going to need two things. The first is a program called Auto Hotkey, and the second is a script for this program to load. Firstly, let's download Auto Hotkey. To download Auto Hotkey, we're going to visit the Google search engine, typing Auto Hotkey, and open up the first link that comes up. We're then going to press Download Auto Hotkey like this. And yes, we're going to save the file to our desktop. I've already done that, but let's just do it again for the educational purposes. All right, we're then going to minimize this window and double click this file. We're going to run it and install auto hotkey. You don't need the third um, option here, so just install these two and install it to whatever destination you want to. Let's, yeah, install. We don't want to read the readme and we're going to press finish. Auto hotkey is now installed. Okay, so now that auto hotkey is installed, we want to download the macro. The macro basically tells auto hotkey how to function. So we're going to go to this website and I will put the link for this download in the description below the video as well for you guys. And we're going to download PoE macro AHK and we're going to save this file and we're going to save it on a desktop as well. And we now want to load up our auto hotkey macro. So we're gonna double click this file. And as you can see down in the right corner, auto hotkey has now been loaded up. Let's go into Path of Exile again. And as you can see, the commands from the script that we just installed are now loaded into auto hotkey. And when pressing the designated keyboard buttons, the commands will be shown in game. 
pretty easy, pretty easy. To turn off the macro, you simply click down here in the right corner, right click the auto hotkey logo here and press exit. The macro is no longer loaded now. When you want to play Path of Exile again and you want to load up your macro, you simply double click this icon again. And as you can see, it has now been loaded down here in the right corner. It is now running in the background. If you want to edit the settings such as the controls, you can, let me do this, open with, you press open with and open it in notepad. In here you can change the designated uh, keyboard shortcuts or, or mouse controls. And as you can see right now F2 is designated for the remaining macro, F3 is the OOS command and F4 checks the item level of an item. If I wanted my OOS command to be on keyboard button F5, I would simply edit this and press save. I don't want that, so I'm gonna revert this. The only thing you may have to change, depending on the resolution you're playing the game in, is this setting. And the reason for that is that the mouse needs coordinates to find the lock out button, and these coordinates are different depending on the resolution you're playing the game in. This is the coordinates for a 1080 resolution. If you're playing in a different resolution, you'll have to find the coordinates for that specific resolution. I only play the game in the 1920, 1080 resolution, so I can't tell you what the coordinates for the other resolutions might be. If anybody knows this, I would greatly appreciate if you would share your information down in the comments for us to see. Otherwise, it shouldn't be too hard for you to find this information by doing a quick Google search for the topic. Besides, this is only relevant if you want to use the logout macro. The other macros will still work as intended without you having to change anything. Anyway, this is all I wanted to show you for today. I really recommend downloading and using these macros. It is a great help and I can't imagine myself playing without these, especially the OOS desync macro. Thank you for watching and bros, do you even nerd?